So now I'm going to demonstrate doing an encaustic art abstract. So by that I mean a picture such as this. So an abstract, you just let the wax do its thing and see what comes out. First of all, I'm going to heat up my iron and apply some wax to it. So the wax that we use is beeswax with a pigment dye and that's melted onto the surface of the iron and then I'm able to move the wax across a sealed piece of card. If you use a piece of um, paper or something like that that's absorbent, then the wax will get absorbed into the paper. Whereas if you use a sealed piece of card, it sits on the surface, so every time I touch the iron to it, it will melt again. So I can go quickly across and depending on the speed I go, I get different effects. So by going quite slowly, I get a smooth image. If I go quickly, I get a much more sort of jagged piece where the wax is pulled away. And sometimes people see castles and things like that in the images. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to shuffle my iron backwards and forwards. melt the wax and then I can add some more colours to my abstract. So this can be really really therapeutic, you just sort of get taken away to a different place. So I've done a few of those, now I'm going to add a different colour. The colours are always really really vivid and they melt into each other so you get good colour mixture. Obviously, you can go too far and end up with a brown sludge, but mainly you just get a lovely sort of blending. It's a it's a great beginner's art form because you don't have to worry about sort of colour blending and things like that. You just let the wax and the heat do its work. So I'm just going to add a final little bit of um, gold for some bling, like that. Now the beauty of encaustic art is as soon as you take away the heat. The wax is dry and because we're using beeswax we are able to grab a tissue and just polish our work just like we polish all our furniture at home I'm sure. Okay so once I've polished that it comes up nice and shiny and there's our finished result.